Diet.com and Spa Finder have joined together to bring you exclusive wellness deals and offers, including up to 75% off spa, yoga, fitness, and Pilates, rewards and incentives, insider tips, healthy recipes, and more. Visit SpaFinder.com forward slash diet to access these benefits today. Welcome to Diet.com video. I'm Sarah Duso with Erica Bornstein, yoga expert. And today, Erica's going to show all of you guys at home a restorative sequence. And don't forget, stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win a $100 gift certificate to SpaFinder.com. So Erica, tell me a little bit more about today's sequence we're going to be doing. This is a good sequence you should do maybe, maybe right before bed or if you're feeling stressed out. Um, it's really you know, relaxing. It makes you feel better opening up to spaces that you don't typically open during the day. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sequences to do, by the way, after a long day and it's just right before I go to bed. It just really helps you fall asleep much quicker with a little bit less stress. Exactly. All right, so we're going to get started in child's pose, one of my favorite poses. So you can have your knees together or apart, really whichever feels better for you. Take your forehead down, close your eyes, take a couple really long deep breaths here. Just letting your hips get heavier and heavier towards the floor, lengthening out your side waist. And just walk your hands over to the right side of the mat, lengthening out your left side body. So try to just keep your hips square so you really just get the stretch in your side waist. Take about one more breath there or so and walk it back to the center. And all the way to the other side. And then we're gonna just come onto our tabletop. We're gonna take single-legged pigeon. So just bring your, yeah, bring your leg behind. And then this is Sarah's left leg. So she brought her left leg up near her left, her left knee near her left wrist. And then this shin placement really depends on flexibility. So. You know, to kind of start, if you're newer, it would be a little bit closer. You kind of inch your shin out towards the front of the mat, the more and more flexible you get. And then you just square off your pelvis, you release the back toes, and then just crawl over the front leg. So you can use, underneath this hip right here, you can use a blanket or a block or something to support you. Um, and also you can put a pillow or a blanket underneath your head. And this is my favorite hip opener. It feels so good to do right before bed. It's good, you know, if you have trouble sleeping, if you toss and turn, a lot of times that's because you have tension in your hips. So try to release some of that. And again, just hold this as long as you can, as long as it feels good. So just to get into the other side, just press your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the back toes, and then just switch your legs. So the right knee would now come to the right wrist kind of inch off that front foot to your own degree of flexibility, square off the hips, and then lower down over that leg. So exactly the same thing, just releasing where you can. Breathing into that hip, breathing into whatever feels tight. Good. And then we're gonna just come onto our backs. So just make your way to your back. It doesn't have to be pretty, you just lie all the way back. <clears throat> and we're gonna take a spinal twist. So a supine spinal twist always feels so good. So we're just gonna take the right knee into the chest. The left leg is straight. And on an exhale, just guide that leg all the way to the left side of your mat. The right arm comes out by your side. The gaze goes over the right hand and just try to keep both of your hip, uh, your shoulders on the mat. So in these twists, you're just trying to relax and let go. So don't force your body into anything that feels unnatural. Just breathe and let your spine, your spine release. I'm taking the next side. So just switch legs, the left leg would come in and across. Left arm would go out, the gaze would go over. And again, just letting go into the twist. Thank you, Erica, so much, and hopefully all of you at home enjoyed this restorative yoga sequence. To enter the $100 gift certificate from SpaFinder.com giveaway, leave a comment down below letting us know how you like to reward yourself. So I like to go and sometimes have a big bro-yo, but sometimes I do like to go to the spa as well. So Erica, what do you like to do to reward yourself? Shopping. 
<laughs> so I know one thing that's popular with girls is a girls' day at the spa, or even men. Men enjoy a good massage, a sports massage to get out those knots in your back. So let us know how you reward yourself down below to enter the $100 gift certificate giveaway from SpaFinder.com. Check out our other yoga videos featuring Erica, and we'll see you soon. Bye.